Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hall, and this is your New Moon Angel Reading with Divine Guidance, spanning from October 6th through the 19th, 2021. This upcoming moon cycle has the potential to bring some very intense and potentially challenging energy to the surface. However, this is all for the greater good, because we're undergoing a deep karmic purge and rebirth. Dial in and be sure to watch this video to the end because you won't want to miss the guidance your angels have to help you get ready for this. First off, let's dive into the cosmic energy update for this new moon cycle. Cosmic energy, meaning big conscious energy waves that flow through the whole collective, have their influence on all of us. These energies are part of the mysterious forces that hold all of us in a state of unity and balance in this universe, and the alignment of celestial bodies around planet Earth can amazingly tell us so much about those energy shifts. So, first off, our new moon is in the sign of Libra. Libra is all about balance, while the moon is all about our emotions and the deeper parts of our psyche. This is a time in which rebalancing is going to be a huge theme in our lives, especially in rebalancing emotions and anything we're carrying in the deeper levels of our consciousness. Now, not only is the moon in the balancing sign of Libra, but the Sun, Mercury, and Mars are also in Libra. When a large number of astral bodies line up together in the same sign, this is called a stellium. And a stellium essentially brings major focus to the aspect of that sign, which again, in this case, is balance. When I tuned into the angels for guidance about this, the big message I received was that Balance is going to be moving through many levels of human life, especially in the area of karma. Now, what is karma? Karma is not a system of divine rewards and punishments for good or bad behavior. Karma is actually a neutral, non-judging force. It is a collective wave of intelligence that moves through the united human spirit and guides us into our most balanced, harmonious state. When we do something that pulls us out of alignment with well-being, karma is the balancing force that guides us back towards harmonious alignment. It is always serving us. It's always the bringer of big life lessons, and it is ultimately a force of love. Now, with that in mind, let's talk about the energy that the planet Mars is going to be bringing in. Mars is a very passionate, energizing planet. So, you might be feeling a lot of passionate drive, emotion, and energy this moon cycle. However, with this big karmic purge and rebalance that we're about to go through, you may notice that yourself or others are feeling more easily triggered than usual. There's a potential for very intense and even challenging emotions to arise. When I asked the angels about this, they communicated that essentially, those who really need more balance in any particular area of life will likely be manifesting big change or upheaval to help them get balanced. The angels want to remind us that we all have free will, however, so it's totally up to you whether you'll choose to learn karmic lessons and support yourself and your feelings in a positive way as you go through this rebalance, or whether you'll fight against it and manifest more challenges. The angel's best guidance to help you with this is to remember to surround your emotions with love and compassion. This is not a time to respond to life with extreme reactions. It's a time to balance and ground yourself in the middle. So, on one side of the pendulum's extreme, do not stuff down or resist those emotions. 
on the other side of the pendulum swing. Do not get super caught up in the story of those emotions to the extent that you allow them to sweep you out to sea like a, like a ship in a storm. Instead, ground and anchor yourself in deep self-compassion, patience, and self-love. The more present and accepting you can be with yourself, the more easily you'll rise into the higher perspectives and lessons that these new energies have to offer you. Now, there's just one last super important cosmic energy we need to talk about. Just a few hours after the new moon, the planet Pluto will be going direct after having been in retrograde. Pluto is the planet of death and rebirth. Four days after the new moon, Saturn, which is the planet of karma, also goes direct after being retrograde. So essentially, these shifts are showing us that you have the power to experience an important rebirth as a result of major karmic purging, clearing, and rebalancing. Now that you have a little context from our energy update, let's pull some oracle cards to get more specific guidance for you on what to expect in the next couple of weeks. Today, I am working with the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. I'm also calling on Archangel Michael, the angel who helps us to purify fear with love, and also Archangel Raguel, the angel of harmony and karmic healing. Angels, please be with us and guide these messages. Please also be with each and every person who watches this video so that we may all receive the guidance and healing we need to be on our highest paths of peace. With that, I want you to go ahead and think of a number one, two, or three. You may notice that you're drawn to just one number or more than one number. Your number is going to represent the card that has the leading information for you this moon cycle. By the way, all three cards will still apply to your path with the other cards supporting the main message related to your number. Ready? Hold your number in your heart and let's dive in. Our first card is patience. Patience. Right away, the angels are telling me that we've drawn the patience card because you need to take a deep breath, center yourself, and trust in divine timing. The angels are assuring you that something even better than what you've been praying and hoping for is coming about. But you'll need to be patient and trusting in order to allow yourself to receive it. If one was the number you were drawn to the most, I'm hearing the angels give you the direct message that they know you've been asking for change. If it's been challenging for you lately, know that your angels really have your back. They're sending you love, soothing comfort, and support right now. And they want you to know that when you offer yourself that same soothing self-love, comfort, patience, and support, that you'll get through everything smoothly. If big emotions or challenges come up, breathe through them with patience and faith. Remind yourself, this too shall pass. If you can navigate the waters ahead with calm, patience, trust, and all of your presence grounded in the present moment, you're going to do beautifully. Just don't allow your fears to pull you into the past or the future. Now is all there is. And now is where you have the power to anchor peace, abundance, and receptivity to all the good things you've been asking for. Our second card is rest and rejuvenation. Rest and Rejuvenation. The Rest and Rejuvenation card appears as a strong reminder that self-love and self-care are your strongest allies and support systems through all of the big changes and potentially intensive energies we'll be facing on the path ahead. Rest is what is going to help you to remain very balanced, conscious, and grounded 
through everything coming up in your life on the path ahead. Get plenty of sleep. In fact, if two was your number, I'm hearing the angels suggest for you that going to sleep a little earlier than usual will really serve you. And be sure to retreat from environments of high stimulation and activity. Because here's the thing, anytime we go through a major karmic shift or lesson, we have a lot of inner work to do. We're guided to release and purge what no longer serves us and open up to alignment with the things that do serve us. That's a lot to process on every level of being. Processing emotional and spiritual energy shifts can create some fatigue and high sensitivity physically and mentally. So this may not be your best time to take on lots of heavy social activities, big projects, or anything that involves difficult decisions and sensory stimulation. If and when you can, retreat from the busy world. Stay in, rest, sleep, make a cup of calming tea, buy yourself some flowers, listen to soft, gentle music while you take a sea salt bath, and curl up on the couch to relax. <laughs> Sounds like my perfect day. <laughs> in all seriousness, you deserve all the space, healing energy, and calming support you need. So treat yourself to that. This is what will best help you to integrate the lessons and shifts of this time. Our third card is action. Action. All right. So the angels are coming in with a big message about balance for you here. They want you to know that where action is needed in your life, balance it out with plenty of patience, calm consideration, as well as the rest and rejuvenating self-care that we talked about. There may very well be some important areas in your life where you are going to need to actively take part in some necessary changes. This might mean speaking your truth, standing up for what is right, or putting up a healthy boundary. If this is what you're being guided to do, take time first to contemplate. Remember, we have a lot of Libra energy flowing through the collective right now, which, by the way, is an energy ruled by the element of air, symbolizing intellect and open-mindedness. So do some reflecting and deep thinking before you act. The Libra energy is super, super balancing. So you can vibe with that energy by asking your heart to imagine your situation from the perspective of others involved. See both sides of the situation before you speak or take action. This will help you with deep karmic learning and growth, especially since this energy of the element of air, again, related to an awakening of intellect and new thinking, is one of the strongest themes of 2021. This is your moment to create harmony in your life through harmonizing action steps. The angels will guide you with this, especially if you call them in very specifically. Now, if you were drawn to the number three, by the way, the angels are telling you to make sure that you balance out cooperation with others with your self-care and self-love. If you tend to be a people pleaser, then this is your time to step away from that and lead with your self-love first. If you tend not to consider others in your decisions, then this is your time to balance that out by really taking time to work through the most harmonious potential approach for all. Remember, love is a force that unifies all of us. So usually if something authentically serves your self-love, it will ultimately serve everyone involved. Thank you so much for tuning in and for liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell below. It's always an honor to be connected with you, to learn about what you guys are up to on your path, and to keep in touch. I'd love to connect with you on Instagram and Facebook, so do click those links I left for you below. Be sure to check out the rest of my channel for more angel messages and guided meditations. And of course, 
know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye.